Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a pregnancy update video for my 17th and 18th week. I'm currently 19 weeks and 3 days filming this and I'm pregnant with a sweet little baby boy. I've noticed that I don't have much to update you guys on. I know I say this in probably every update video, but especially these past two weeks, I started really getting that second trimester bliss that everybody was talking about where I'm just pregnant. You probably notice I'm in a different spot. I'm rearranging stuff. I tried to make a little cute background right here, but you can't even see it in the frame. So I love that for me, but I tried rearranging stuff, trying to make backgrounds that are more aesthetically pleasing. You'll probably be seeing me in a few different places in upcoming videos. And I also am going to be unboxing my diaper bag that I got from Fawn Design. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see that. I'm obsessed with it. So enough of all that. Let's jump into the video. So I wanted to start adding like how big he is, like fruits and all that stuff in these videos. So starting off with my 17th week, he was as big as a pomegranate approximately 5.2 inches and 5.9 ounces and of course the first symptom i have written down for my 17th week is gassy with an explanation mark so i wasn't like gassy like you think like gassy like passing gas it was more of like burp like i just burped burping and like trapped gas in my stomach like the sharp trapped gas in my stomach where you feel like you just need to burp that kind of gassy there's not really much else to say about that symptom other than you got gas when you're pregnant i mean what do you want me to tell you my next symptom i have is uterus expanding so i really started to feel like things being crammed in there and just i feel my uterus not necessarily like getting bigger, but in the beginning you have these period like cramps that's your uterus stretching. And I started getting those more in the 17th week and more of stretching sensations. My next one is bladder pain. So I went get checked for everything under the moon having to do with my bladder. And pretty much the conclusion is that... I don't empty my bladder enough and I've always been like that with like being in school and stuff. I hated using the bathroom at school. It just grossed me out. I hate using the bathroom anywhere other than my house or a family member's house. It just really grosses me out and I've always kind of held stuff in to where I don't have to use a bathroom and I guess my body's just used to that. And now that I'm pregnant, I can't really do that. And it's pretty much my bladder, my uterus fighting for room if my bladder's full. And then when it releases, it just kind of contracts back to normal size and it doesn't feel too good. Also, sleeping arrangements is just killing me now. I know they recommend you sleep on your sides. If I sleep dead on my side, like literally just on my side my hip will go numb and it's not a good feeling it hurts and it doesn't on both sides so what i do is kind of sleep on my stomach but i cock my knee up and like put my stomach to the side to where i'm not putting that much pressure on my stomach but this whole side sleeping i don't think is gonna happen for me so on to week 18 just trying to get my app to see how big he was he was as big as an artichoke. He was 5.59 inches and 6.7 ounces. I had my anatomy scan during my 18th week, so we will talk about that too. The first symptom I have written down is the hip thing continuing. I'm pretty sure that's going to continue through my whole pregnancy. So, yeah. I also broke out really bad in my 18th week. I have no idea why. Again, pregnancy's crazy, things can happen at the snap of a finger while you're pregnant. So yeah, I broke out extremely bad, but again, it's all cleared up and it's gone. So my next one is starting to nest with a question mark. 
So I don't think I'm necessarily nesting yet, like the real when you nest hardcore at the end. But I'm starting to get baby anxiety maybe. I just feel like we have nothing for him. I feel like time is flying by and we have nothing for him. And I don't necessarily know what to call that. It's just I'm freaking out a little bit on the inside. I know I haven't had my baby shower yet and I know I'm only almost halfway through at my almost 20 weeks. But I still can't help but feel like, oh my gosh, he's coming in literally four months. And I don't know. It's just... I'm also, I feel like a control freak. And I'm like impatient. So I feel like everything we need from him, I don't want it like right now. I want it the way I want it. I want it set up the way I want it. And I'm just, I don't know. I'm crazy, so... All right, so I was 18 weeks and four days for my anatomy scan. It went really, really good. Everything looked normal. He did give the nurse a hard time. He was hiding everything. He was not cooperating. <laughs> and all I can say is that is my son. And he was um, approximately seven ounces for his anatomy scan. And on the app that I have, it says that he would be around 6.7 ounces in the 18th week. So pretty much right on track. I have a feeling he's going to be small. I don't know why. I've always had this feeling since I got pregnant. Before I got pregnant, I always thought I was going to have big babies because I was on the bigger side. When I was born, Dustin was smaller. So I mean, we really had no indication of what size he's going to be. He's going to come out whatever size he wants to be. <laughs> But I always had this weird feeling that he was going to be small. So I don't know. We'll see when he gets here. Before I get into the diaper bag unboxing, I really want to announce his name. I just, it still doesn't feel real to me. And I feel weird calling him by his name because I, like, it feels like I'm in a dream. And like me and Dustin are just playing pretend that I'm pregnant. I mean, I'm obviously not pretending but i don't know and i feel like if i would announce it and, and y'all start calling him by his name it would feel a little more real to me but i don't know i keep going back and forth one day i'm like oh yes i'm gonna announce it when i'm 20 weeks and then another day i'm like no i'm not gonna announce it until he's born so i know you guys want to know his name I want to tell you guys his name, so be on the lookout. I might be announcing his name soon. I'll probably post a video on here before I post it anywhere else. Oh, and for his anatomy scan, we got a little heartbeat bear. I'm going to go grab that. It's so cute. Oh, and my oven just went off. I'll be right back. I'm back. And with his little heartbeat teddy bear, it's so cute. My doctor's office actually gives this to their patients for their anatomy scan. We were going to go to a place that specializes in ultrasounds. And I'm sorry, Theo was sniffing everything. Go, Bubby. Go in the front with your sister. I don't remember what I was saying now. But yeah, this was given to us. And it has his heartbeat in it. If you just squeeze it. Can you hear it? So cute. Theo loves it. He's barking at it, but it's because he wants to sniff it. He can't sniff it. He loves this thing. One, two, the driver bag. So it came in just this box. I didn't want to open it until I was on camera, but I had to go run and do something. And Dustin ended up opening it on his own. So it was open when I got to it. So yeah, I tried to put everything back in its original packaging for you guys to see how it came. Everything came in these cute dust bags. This is my shipping label. Dustin was like, how bougie could you be? But I really thought this was just a cute touch. Before I opened the dust bags, this came separately. This is the um, white, the hard like white case to go in the wristlet that I got. And also this is the you can see without the glare this is the stroller straps for the actual bag so in this little dust bag is the clutch and the changing pad this is the clutch 
it's pretty it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be which i mean that's perfectly fine i can stick more stuff in it this is the little wristlet that you attach to this so you can put it on your wrist the material is really nice it doesn't look like it would scratch or get dirty easily i think it's really nice and this is the changing pad it unclips like this and it opens like this and it's pretty easy to fold up it has all the lines on where to fold it and i kind of like that this is has some weight to it rather than the other changing pads that you know that you just are kind of like foamy and you just lay them out and they want to roll back up this one has some weight to it so i feel like it wouldn't roll up on me when i'm trying to change him somewhere because if i can't use the bathroom at a public restaurant or place do you think i'm really going to change my kid on a public place's stuff no not me I'll just put this back in there i'm the type where like i don't want anything to be out of its package until i'm ready to use it because if it gets messed up i'm gonna be devastated on to the actual bag this bag is amazing but it also has some weight to it so i read every single review there was for this bag i'm sorry if you hear my dogs playing in the background so i read every single review for this bag i for some reason didn't realize that it was gonna be i don't want to say heavy because because it is not heavy i have felt heavier diaper bags and for the quality i think it's really just i mean it's really nice so yeah i, I just i don't know why i expected it was going to be a little lighter but again that does not bother me and it's really not that heavy see I mean, it's just, the quality is there. These are the little clips for if you want to put it on your around your shoulder or um, the stroller. This is the backpack part. I'm trying to see if I can put it in frame and you just clip it. And I like that it has this to where I can just grab it and go. I don't have to like carry it like this. It also comes with a big pouch in the back that you just snap close and it comes with a pretty decent size side pocket this thing is decked out with pockets another one then another one at the top it doesn't have a clip to close this one it's just something you just slide like probably my phone in or something if i'm needing all my hands which i probably will and then that zipper in the front I really liked about it is how this the top it unzips and it just flaps over so you can really see everything in this bag i know it looks kind of skinny but i feel like it's because it's been folded up for so long but look you can see right there how spacious this thing is it's like a big old bucket this is the strap to put on it if you want to put it over your shoulder it comes with a pocket back here and another zipper pouch and also this little i don't know if you can see it there's a little clip right here that's really nice i think that's for like if you want to put your keys in here to where it's not at the bottom of the baby's stuff and then there's one two three four pouches for like bottles swaddles they're pretty big i can open my hand in them like this i want to show you but it's really hard because my diaper bag is black they're right here there's four all around from the side to the right there i'm probably gonna be doing a what's in my diaper bag video once he's here or when i'm packing the diaper bag for the hospital trip but yeah i really 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 like that bag and i'm so glad i purchased it it is quite on the pricey side but the way i looked at it i need a new purse anyway and he was like well if you're gonna use that as a purse you buy quite expensive purses so might as well just spend the money for our baby and you and all that stuff so it's just so sweet i'm supposed to show you guys my bomb so if you made it this far you get to see my bomb 
All right, let me move this stuff. My camera is on its last battery line, so I need to hurry up. Don't mind my, or my husband's Guinness pants, but I'm we'll back up a little bit. This is the bump. I'm always wearing a black shirt. I don't understand. This is little baby C. Yep. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check that subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed. Please do and join the family and keep an eye out for our baby name reveal because I have a feeling that's gonna come soon. Don't quote me on it, but I have a feeling. I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. I need some talk about my life.